Hi, and welcome to St. James Lutheran Church Digital Sunday School. This is the lesson for March 22nd, 2020. We are really excited to be trying this out with you guys, so make sure to leave feedback in the comments of what you think this is like and what we can do to improve. So that way we can continue providing this ministry through this time of upheaval. So, today's lesson is about Samuel and David. This comes from the book of 1 Samuel, and I'll be reading from the Spark Story Bible. Now, how many of you guys have ever heard of David before? This is the guy who killed Goliath and eventually became king of Israel. He is also Jesus' great, 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 grandfather. Now, how many of you guys have ever heard of Samuel before? You might have heard the story about the boy being called during the night while he was sleeping by God. That was Samuel. Samuel was a prophet, and he was chosen by God to be in charge of Israel's kings. When Saul, Israel's current king, wasn't doing a good job, God told Samuel that he would choose a new king that wasn't Saul. So that's where the story begins. So I'm going to open up my Bible and read to you. This one is called David is Chosen. God said to Samuel, I have a job for you. I want you to anoint a new king. Here's what you need to do. Bring a horn filled with oil to Bethlehem and look for Jesse and all of his sons. One of his sons is going to be a new king. Samuel was afraid that God's job was too scary. The old king was still around and he was a very mean guy. But God promised Samuel, I'll help you. So Samuel walked to Bethlehem and found Jesse. Line up all your sons and let's see who will be the new king. Samuel looked at the first son, Eliab, and felt assured that God would choose him to be king. Eliab was big and good looking. But God disagreed. Samuel was looking at the outside of Eliab, seeing how strong he looked. God was looking on the inside and did not see the right love in Eliab's heart. One by one, the sons came forward to see if they would be chosen. This one? No, sorry. This one? Ah, uh, nah. How about this one? I don't think so. And finally, they ran out of sons. Well, except for one, that is. Jesse's son David was outside watching the sheep. They called for him. David came inside. He smelled a little bit like sheep, but his eyes sparkled with joy and love. David was just a boy, gentle and quiet. Samuel tried to see David from outside and inside. This one? A hush fell over the room as everyone waited. Yes, God told Samuel, yes! Samuel told everyone. Samuel poured oil from the horn onto David's head, anointing him with God's love and joy. David would be the next king. Now, you need to remember that David is just a little boy in this. They didn't think he, didn't think he was important enough that they left him outside to watch stuff while all the important sons came in and were chosen, or supposed to be chosen. And sometimes, we could be like that. We feel like we can't help or that we can't help solve it because we feel small and weak. But God looks past what we feel that we can do or what other people feel that we can do and he knows the great things that we can do. Now sometimes it can be in small things like sometimes you got a pile of homework that's up to here or sometimes you procrastinate all the chores and you got just way too much to do all at once. But God is with us during those times. And especially right now, we can know that God has us and that he is with us, just right beside us. And even though sometimes things seem bigger than ever before, God is always bigger. Now, I want you guys, if your parents are not already watching the video, pause the video right now and go and find them. I've got some discussion questions that I think you guys should ask together. So go ahead, go grab them. I'll wait. Alright, parents here, 
awesome. Feel free to pause the video after every single question so that you guys can have time to talk and discuss. So, what was Samuel looking at when he looked for a king? What was God looking for? What might God be looking for in you? Once you're done with all of these discussion questions, go ahead and see, ask your parents if you can find some olive oil or vegetable oil or even just grab some water. Then I want you to mark the cross of Christ on each other's forehead. This is what anointing is. This is what Samuel did to David to show that he was the next king of Israel. You do this to each other because God has chosen you to be his children and to do great things in his world. Will you guys pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much for choosing us to be your children and being with us through everything. When we feel small, when we feel like things are just too big, you are with us all along. Keep us safe and let us do great things with you. In your holy and divine name, amen. Thank you guys all so much. Make sure to leave a comment down below with what you liked and what you thought we could do better so that way we can continue providing this great thing to everyone. Also make sure to follow us here on YouTube or over on our Facebook page to keep getting updates on all the great things that we are doing. Thank you guys all so much and I hope you have a blessed day.